welcome back. You certainly can't question the athletic talent level in the Wabash Valley right now. Today is National Signing Day and eight different local athletes signed to play college athletics. Haley Seibert was sporting an IPFW shirt. The Terre Haute South Senior Girls basketball star signed to play Division I hoops with the Lady Mastodons. Seibert was named an Indiana Junior All-Star and All-Mick one season ago. It's like a Division I, like you said, but it still has that small town feel. The coaches were great, family oriented, and the players, they were welcoming, and I just loved it. It's a perfect fit. Terre Haute South Boys swimmer Addison Bray was showing off his college decision with the Louisville Cardinals t-shirt. Bray holds six school records and is an All-American in the 100 breaststroke and 200 IM. Addison believes Louisville can help him achieve his ultimate goal of swimming in the Olympics. They have great resources there. They got great weight program, great pool, and I will fully use all those resources I have to propel me to the next level. Terre Haute South girls swimmer Christina Elliott will continue her career next year at Division II Grand Valley State in Michigan. Elliott holds three school records and was a 2010 All-Mix selection. Incredibly exciting. Uh, I've been looking forward to this day for so long, so um, being here is so real, you know, just it's amazing. Terre Haute South baseball coach Kyle Kramer watched as one of the Braves all-time greats on the diamond signed with the University of Kentucky. Last season, A.J. Reed was named first team All-State after hitting 478 and smashing a school and county record 18 home runs. That's where I wanted to be. I wanted to see why I compared to the best in the, in the nation, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to prove myself. Thomas Goss was wearing his Dayton Flyers polo. The South so Senior golfer is a three-time IHSAA state finals and this past season was a 2010 Mick Conference medalist. The coach, he's a great guy um, and the players, I mean the team's just a great group of guys. The ISU baseball hat was out at West Vigo as Scotty West signed to play baseball with the Sycamores. Last season as a junior he hit 432 with two homers and 29 RBIs. West said he is thrilled to follow fellow Vikings standout to ISU. I really like the coaches, the facilities, and I have a couple past teammates from West Vigo that go there now, and I'd like to join them up and be over there with them. North Central softball program is a pipeline for Indiana State this year. The Lady T-Birds strong Class A program saw Megan Stone and Ashley Scott sign with the Lady Sycamores. Both players have dreamed of playing Division I softball. Wednesday, that dream became a reality. Ever since I was little, I've always dreamed of going Division One, and it's crazy that today it's actually happening, but it's a good feeling. Nerve-wracking, but exciting at the same time. Um, just knowing that I'm here and I did it is a big accomplishment. Remember, tomorrow Washington star basketball player Cody Zeller will make his college announcement. Like always, Sports 10 is the only place you'll want to watch for the best and most complete coverage. Who will Zeller pick, IU Butler or North Carolina? Remember, right now only three people know where he is going. Don't forget, you can see Zeller's announcement live from Washington on WTHITV.com. Tomorrow at 1 p.m., we will be streaming the entire announcement on our website.